Yo people, this is Timmy from Pure Kicks. Welcome back to the channel. You've already read that title. You've already seen the thumbnail. In this video, we're going to be unboxing and breaking down the Under Armour Curry Flow 9s. Let's get it. Right off the back, I know I'm a little late to the party, but I really don't care. I've been excited for this shoe for a minute, and I finally got them in hand, so get gas with me, innit? If you're already part of the team, you know the vibes. Go hit that like button right now, and if you're not, go hit that like button right now. When you're done with that, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every single time a new video drops. Welcome to the team. That's already enough chit chat. I'm ready to open these up. But before I do, love the Pro Direct for sending them through every single time. It's greatly appreciated. Much, much love. Starting with the box, it's no frills. It's all about business. Curry Brown logo up top, all white everywhere else. The yellow bottoms, he's not going anywhere else, but Warriors, come on. It's just part of the brand. Let's get into the shoe. Who doesn't mess with some stickers? Who doesn't mess with some stickers? Wonderful stuff I've seen in today. Yeah, and he's a cold. Yeah, and he's a sick. That is a nice red. Straight up, that is a nice red. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Okay. Curry Flow Nines. You lost it, that oh. Hmm, the Under Armour Curry Flow Nine. Straight off the bat, these shoes are light. Light, feather light crap. Oh my God, we love to see it. Talking about the colorway, this is one of five that was released from the Street Pack in collaboration with the world-renowned children's show, Sesame Street. Other colorways included Now You See Me, inspired by Abby Kadabi, Taking Cookies, inspired by The Cookie Monster, Talking Trash by Oscar the Grouch, Beyond the Stripe, inspired by Lily the Tiger. Play Big, inspired by Big Bird. And Count It, inspired by Count Von Count. And the one you see here is the Elmo colorway dubbed Dribble Me Elmo. A play on the very, very popular Tickle Me Elmo toy, again from the Sesame Street show. Like I already said, this red is hitting. Not only that, is there's this furry up top, this little tongue, this furry tongue. It's cute. I can't lie, it's all mad cute. <laughs> Getting into the tech, starting with the traction. Under Armour Flow is back because it's never leaving. Pretty much the first cushioning that can double up as a traction, Under Armour Flow has not missed. My God. With the same thing, we saw insane traction in the Curry Flow 8. So this is expected to do exactly the same thing. It actually looks quite similar as well. Damn near the exact same pattern. A 3D-like shape, which kind of protrudes all over, wraps around the shoe, coverage looks insane. There's not much else to say. This is going to bang. It's going to bang. It's going to bang. I'm expecting the court to go crazy because the outsole is the midsole and the midsole is the outsole. There's no reason court shouldn't be buff. Ah, everything you need in a traction and a midsole right now, all in one. Ah, it's still spinning my head. It's still spinning my head. Even though I kind of just did, talking about the midsole. Under Armour Flow cushion him. It's lightweight. It's cozy. Responsive. Long lasting, longevity is wonderful. What more could you ask for in a cushion in really? Every box is ticked. If you ask for more, you're a greedy individual and you need to reflect on that. Take a long hard look at yourself and stop being greedy. Everything you need in a cushion in is here in Under Armour Flow Cushion It. Hmm. I'm still not on board with this with this brand new curry logo, you know? It just looks like a massive number eight. No matter where you put it, I can't unsee the number eight. It made sense for the last shoe, being the Curry Flow 8, that made sense, right? But we're on nine now, and it's just the number eight. I've, I've heard it's apparently supposed to be this. It's like throwing up a three and whatnot. There's a three and zero in there or something for his jersey number. You guys know the vibe, but I think they need to go back to the drawing board. I don't know if it bangs. Maybe it's not for me, I guess. It's not, it's literally not for me, but I'm saying, it's just a number eight. It's just a massive, it's a wispy number eight. I don't buy it, I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't bang as hard as it should. Anyway, lastly, talking about the upper. Under Armour keeps it going with his innovations. 
Under Armour warp technology for the entire upper. According to Under Armour, it provides enhanced comfort and control for all basketball movements. Curry himself does all basketball movements, so it kind of makes sense. For me, it looks like a layered mesh, different types of mesh, different iterations of mesh with this kind of threading throughout the upper to kind of add the structure sort of thing. It looks like a lot. I don't know if it's just a colorway, but there is a lot going on in this upper. Different strands, different thicknesses, different materials. There's a lot going on and I like it. It actually adds to the colorway itself with the different colors of strands going through the upper. That's why the red's hitting. That's what I said at the beginning. They look clean. They look clean. What I appreciate about the upper is that it does look like an evolution of what we saw in the last shoe. Being closest to just more of a knit material, they've still got it along with some mesh, along with some structure to add to that kind of warp technology, which I'm assuming they say warps to the foot. I shouldn't assume, but I have. So I'm expecting it to warp. You can't call it warp and it'll not warp to my foot. So it's up to you, innit? Some personal thoughts. I am excited to get these on court. I said at the beginning, I'm a little late to the party, but I don't care. I've been looking forward to these since the eight. I'm excited to see how these really play. They've kind of tweaked the shape a little bit. So I personally think they look a little better. They're gonna look great on foot. I've seen a couple videos, a couple people having them on foot. They look wonderful. So I'm excited to get mine same way. If you've already had a test run in these, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'll be back with a performance review as soon as I can. I cannot wait, so trust me, it's on the way. So all right guys, that's it from me. If you're already part of the team, you know what you have to do. Go hit that like button right now. I appreciate it. it, helps the channel continue to grow. It's much, much appreciated. And if you're not part of the team, go hit that like button as well and the subscribe button, as well as the bell next to it to get notified every single time a new video drops, including this performance review, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Trust me on that. So all right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for watching. This is the Under Armour Curry Flow 9s. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.